Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to update the firmware on your Kindle Paperwhite and this should work on pretty much any other Kindle as well. So obviously you need your Kindle, the USB cable that came with it, you can use any other USB cable that's the same type, and your laptop. So let's take a look at how this is done. First thing you want to do is power on your Kindle, holding onto the button, usually at the bottom, on some models it could be at the top. Once you've powered on your Kindle, if you go to the three dots on the top right of the screen, and then from there what we want to do is click on settings, and from settings we want to click on device options and device info. This will show us the firmware that we are currently on, and as you can see the firmware model is listed right there. Now usually what should happen is you should have the option to update the firmware through the Kindle itself if it's connected to Wi-Fi. However, this isn't always the case. As a matter of fact, for us it's been rarely the case. As you can see, update your Kindle is actually greyed out. And this simply means we need to go over to our computer and update manually. So this page is linked in the description below. So we need to go here and we need to read the descriptions. As you can see, these Kindles all have descriptions. So our Kindle Paperwhite has the word Kindle in silver, so that's not it. Um, we need to read the descriptions. As we can see, this one as well is in black. Our one is in silver where it says the word Kindle. And unfortunately, there's no easy way in the settings to just for it to tell you what generation your Kindle is. But, you know, we, don't, we know we don't have the Kindle Voyage because of the description again. Um, so we're just going to keep scrolling down until we find it. Now, the good thing about this is if you do download the wrong version, don't worry because you can't brick your Kindle. It simply won't allow you to do the firmware update. It will stay grayed out. That's the only thing that will happen. But we've got the sixth generation, and once we click on the link, it brings us to this page, which we'll also put in the description below. We make sure that we download, click on the right one here to, down, uh, to go to the page. That's the sixth generation. We look at the software version, which is a higher number than the one that we have installed on our Kindle, which if we take a look, is 5.8, whereas the one that's out now is 5.9. So, we make sure we've got enough space available, which shouldn't be a problem. Make sure your battery is above 30%. And as you can see, it's grayed out, even though the update is available. So what we're going to do now is we're going to simply download this through our PC. We connect one end of the cable to the Kindle and the other end to our laptop or PC. Then all we want to do is wait for it to show up. And there it is. And the Kindle screen verifies that it has been connected and is in USB drive mode. So all we want to do now, check we've got enough space, which we have plenty. The download is about 200 megabytes. Um, so we'll go back to the page that we were on. And as you can see, the software version is 5.9.5.1. And if we click it, it will start to download. Once it's finished downloading, we've downloaded it to the desktop. Yours may be in the download folder. All we do is we take that file and we drag it across over to our Kindle and just drop the file in there as we're about to do and this transfer takes about five minutes but this is basically where the file will end up is right here which is in your root folder it's the very first folder that shows up when you double click your Kindle so we'll forward this since it takes about five minutes once it's done that box right there will simply disappear off your screen all we do is we come to the bottom of the screen click on the little arrow up we get the USB stick, we USB stick icon, we simply right click on that, and when we right click, we get the option to eject Amazon Kindle, and we simply go ahead and click on that. And that's it, your Kindle is now ejected, however this message does stay on the screen, so no need to worry, you can just plug your Kindle out. And now we know the Kindle is, uh, is um, updatable and we've, updated the, we've got the right firmware on there, because as you can see, update your Kindle is no longer greyed out, it's actually clickable now. So all we're going to do is we're going to click on it and make a cup of tea because this process takes a while. So all you have to do is click on update your Kindle and once we've done that, it asks you to verify, we press OK and the update process will begin. Now this takes about 10-15 minutes. Once this initial bar will speed this up, 
Once this initial software update bar fills up, that's actually not the end. It will fill up a few more times. See, we've got confirmation that software update is completed. However, the Kindle will restart numerous times. We'll get this loading wheel icon, which is about to show up. There it is. And then we'll get a bar that fills up on top of the screen a few more times, which is absolutely fine. This is normal, so don't freak out. Um, so we click on the three dots on the top right, click on settings just to verify, click on device options. As you can see, device info is now at the top. Some of this stuff may have moved around. And there is our new firmware version. If we click on what's new. We can see what's been added in terms of features to the Kindle. Might be worth scrolling up and down just in case you've updated, you've skipped a few versions and you've gone from say 5.6 to 5.9.4, you can see all the updates and all the new features. If you like this, please like and subscribe, it really does help us out. Thank you for watching.